So, hi everyone. Welcome again sa Electromagnetics Vector Analysis. In this video, we'll be discussing more about um, space coordinate systems, in particular, the spherical coordinate system. So, welcome to this class. If you haven't seen yung mga videos na ginawa natin for Cartesian coordinate system and uh, cylindrical coordinate systems. So, check out nyo na lang dun sa uh, playlist. Okay. For today, we'll be discussing yung spherical. Okay. Spherical coordinate system. So, next. So, balikan lang ulit natin yung ating unang pinag-aralan is yung Cartesian. So, that is represented by X, Y, and Z. Sa cylindrical naman, represented by small letter R. And then, meron tayong uh, phi. Right? And then, we also have Z. Dito naman sa spherical, we have the capital letter R, the theta, and phi. No? So, yan yung ating uh, matatlo sa pinaka-common ng mga reference access. Okay? So, once again, ang reason kung bakit naman tayo na nag-aaral or nag iba, -iba ng coordinate systems is for convenience. So, may mga problems na mas madaling isolve using a particular coordinate system. Okay? So, next. So, sa spherical coordinate system kasi, uh, it is represented by R, theta, and phi. So, yung R natin, ito siya sa space yan yun siya no nandito sa point na yan and then yung ating um, theta is from the x axis bilang tayo ng angle then kung ano yung lumapat na projection ng ating r doon sa plane na yan is yung ating angle na theta and yung length ng projection na yan is yung ating r sine ng uh, theta. Okay? So, yung ating theta is from uh, the z-axis papunta rin sa ating vector length. Okay? So, itong projection na to would be yung ating r sine of so, sa phi naman, wala itong pinakaiba dun sa angle ng cylindrical coordinates. Kung nasan yung plane ng x and y, andun yung ating angle ng phi. Going dun sa projection ng nagawa ng theta. Okay? So, yun yung ating phi. So, again, uh, I will discuss lang dito introduction dun sa ating mga differential. Unahin ko na yung differential of length. Yung DL is equal to R hat times the differential of R. Okay, differential ng R. Plus theta hat R, R D theta. Okay, R D theta. Ito yan. Okay. Plus phi hat R sin theta d phi. Okay. So, yun yung ating differential of length. For the differential surfaces, meron tayong tatlo. Okay. Doon sa surface, uh, in the direction of our R, capital R, is equal to R hat. So, R squared sin theta d theta d phi. So, wala yung pinakaiba sa pag-multiply nitong dalawa. No? R d theta times r sine theta d phi. And 
Then sa next naman, differential surface in the direction of the theta is equal to theta hat r sin theta dr d. So ito naman, pinagsama naman na dr dr, okay, ito yan. Tapos yung isa naman is yung r sin theta d v. Okay. So, yan. Sa differential surface in the direction of theta or the phi actually sorry phi yan no it is equal to phi hat r dr times t theta so ito naman pinagsamang dr tsaka r d theta so r d theta times dr yan so, pangat ng sulat ko. For the differential volume, multiply lang natin yung ating mga uh, components. Okay? So, we have dr, r dr, and r sin theta d phi. So, yan yung ating mga differential dimensions or quantities pagdating sa spherical coordinate system. Of course, yung ating general formula or general equation for representing a vector A in the spherical coordinate is A is equal to R hat times R hat A sub R plus theta hat A sub theta plus phi hat A sub P. Okay? So, yun yung mga gagamitin natin sa susunod ng mga lessons. Okay. Next, we have to convert or transform. Transform yung from the spherical to Cartesian or Cartesian to spherical. So, katulad ng ginawa natin sa uh, cylindrical, ganun din dito. We can transform different coordinate systems to spherical coordinate system. So, una muna, i-describe muna natin yung mga relationship between yung mga variables ng coordinate systems na to. Okay? So, first, we have yung ating R. Yung capital R. So, capital R represents yung haba ng ating uh, coordinate or point dun sa origin. Ito yan. Okay? It is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Okay? So, parang distance formula siya. So, next, we have to describe naman yung uh, theta. Okay? Theta daw, ito yan na, theta. It is equal to the arc tan of the square root of x squared plus y squared all over, all over z. Okay. So, yun yan. Okay. Next naman, okay, so we have to take note that itong theta na to is from 0 to pi or it is from 0 to 180 degrees. Okay? So next naman is yung ating phi. Ito yung angle na yan. Okay? It is equal to the arctan ng x over y. So take note na yung ating phi is from 0 to 2 pi. So, 360 degrees. Sa theta naman, 180 degrees. Okay. Mamaya, gagamitin natin yan. And kung kailangan naman natin yung mga variables sa Cartesian plane, ito yung ating conversion factors or con conversion formulas. So, 
x is equal to r times the sine of theta, okay, r sine theta cosine, so adjacent yan, cosine ng phi, okay, so cosine. Then, yung y naman is r sine theta sine of t, right? And yung ating z is equal to r cosine theta. So, yung mga yan yung ating gagamitin na relationships para mag-transform tayo ng mga vectors from spherical to Cartesian and Cartesian to spherical conversely. Okay? So, paano naman yung ating mga uh, scalar components, di ba? Sa cylindrical, meron tayong ganun. Dapat sa spherical, meron din. So, kung given yung ating spherical coordinates, this is how, this is the matrix notation to convert or to transform yung ating vector A vector A from spherical from spherical to Cartesian. Okay? So, ano yung formula natin? Dun sa upper part, ito, tapakitandaan na lang, sine theta cosine phi cosine theta cosine phi minus sine phi. Second row naman, sine theta sine phi, cosine theta sine phi, cosine phi. Third row, cosine theta, negative sine theta, and then zero. So, same approach kung paano natin ginawa yung cylindrical, ganun din dito. Okay? So, next, paano naman kung pabalik? Okay? Paano kung pabalik yung ating uh, Pagpabalik, so, given naman sa atin is x, y, and z. Pabalikin natin yan sa spherical. Ganun pa rin. Although, ang difference lang is that yung ating yung ating elements sa matrix is somehow rearranged. So, sa una kasi Itong pula, kung mapapansin natin, yan, ganyan yung kanilang arrangement. Okay? Pero pag nag-transform tayo, pabalik, baliktad na siya. Ganito na siya. Okay? Second column. Third column. So, in other words, yung kaninang element na nasa row 1, column 3, so, so, row 1, column 3, that is negative sine phi. Napupunta siya sa bago na row 3, column 1. Okay? So, dito na siya, row 3, column 1. So, ganyan yung uh, pinakamabilis na pag-arrange ng ating transformation ng matrices. So, subukan natin gamitin yan sa isang example. Okay? So, we are to to find a unit vector in the direction of a particular vector in spherical coordinates. So, two points are given in the Cartesian coordinates as points 0, 0, 1, and 2, 1, 3, and a vector A that connects these points, P1, which is the tail, to P2, which is the head. Okay. So, paano natin gagawin yan? First, isulat siguro muna natin yung notation natin ng vector. Diba? So, ito yung ating general equation ng vector A is equal to x hat A sub x plus y hat A sub y plus z hat A sub z. So, when we have two points, pwede natin magamit yan to uh, give to give scalar components dun sa ating vector A, di ba? So, ang gagawin lang natin dyan is minus minus lang, no? Sa x, is, is subtract natin yung scalar or yung 
scalar components, dun sa y, the z ganun din. So, ang nangyari is ganito. Sa so, a, we have a, x hat, so 2, ito yan. Minus 0. Then sa so y naman, we have 1. Sa so, y sub 1, we have also 0. Z, we have 3. Minus 1. So, to simplify, yung vector natin is vector A, x hat 2 plus y hat 1 plus z hat 2. Pero hindi siya natatapos ang lahat, no? Ang sabi dito is, we are to find the unit vector in the direction of A in spherical coordinates. Since tayo ay nasa Cartesian plane pa, wala pa. Kailangan muna nating hanapin yung, vector, yung unit vector ng A na yan sa direction ng A. So, paano yan? Kinukuha formula ng unit vector. It is equal to the magnitude or the, the vector divided by its magnitude. Right? So, paano yan? It is equal to so, itong x na yan. So, x hat 2 plus y hat 1 plus z hat 2. So, so yeah. yun na yung ating yeah. So, ito yung ating a. It's the vector divided by the square root ng kanilang magnitude square root ng sum of squares ng kanilang mga scalar components. Okay. So, next is to further simplify yung ilalim 3 na lang yan. Then yung iba, wag ganun pa rin. Actually, pwede pa siyang masimplify ulit. So, yung ating final value ng uh, ng ating unit vector kanano kasi sa ating unit vector, no? is that x hat 2 thirds plus y hat 1 third plus z hat 2 thirds. Okay? So, next, pwede na natin siya ngayon ilagay sa spherical coordinates. Diba? So, yun yung pinapanap sa atin. Eh. Since meron tayong formula, kung paano natin i-transform yung Cartesian papunta sa spherical. So, Cartesian to spherical. Ano yung formula natin? Ano yung formula natin? Ito. Kaya, buburahin ko lang muna yung ating shallow na kahambara dyan. Okay. So, given daw yung ating given yung ating x, y, and z which is actually 2 thirds, 1 third, and 2 thirds, pabalik sa spherical, or papunta sa spherical. So, substitute natin yung mga values na yan. Ito yung ating makukuha. Okay? So, sa loob, we have seen sine theta, cosine phi, sine theta, sine phi, cosine theta, cosine theta, cosine phi, cosine theta, sine phi, negative sine theta, negative sine phi, cosine phi, then zero. Then, nilagay ko na rito yung ating mga uh, scalar components dun sa ating unit vector. Ito yan. Okay? So, ano na gagawin natin? Susunod natin gagawin is i-evaluate na natin yung mga yan. Okay. So, paano i-evaluate? Unang una, isusulat muna natin ito, ulit itong mga uh, components natin dito. Kasi maglalagay tayo ng mga values sa harap. Ano yung una natin ilalagay? Dito sa first column, okay? So first column, itong two thirds. Ayan. So paano yan? So we have two thirds sine theta cosine phi. So plus to, plus na lahat to magka plus. Ano namang ilalagay natin dito sa susunod? Of course, ito ng one-third, di ba? One-third will go this one. 
then plus ulit. Then dun naman sa last, itong last element sa multiplier natin, dun na yung magpupunta. So we have 2 thirds cosine theta, 2 thirds negative sine theta, and then 2 thirds times 0. So ganyan siya, no? So sinolve na natin, ang nakuha natin sagot is, uh, dahil pwedeng i-factor out yung 1 third, we have 1 third times 2 sine theta cosine phi plus sine theta sine phi plus 2 cosine theta. So in-evaluate ko lang ito. Sa so, second component naman, we have 1 third ulit dahil pwede siyang i-factor out times 2 cosine theta cosine phi plus cosine theta sine phi minus 2 sine phi. Sa baba rin, pwede rin i-factor out yung 1 third or actually negative 1 third. It is negative 1 third times 2 sine phi minus cosine phi. Wala na tayong third element dahil ito ay 0 na, right? So, we're all set. We're almost done. Yan yung ating mga components kung nasa matrix, not matrix notation. Pero ang gusto kasi natin is yung factor notation natin na masusundan tulad nito. Okay. So, i -re -re write natin yung ating sagot into the appropriate form. So, ayan. Okay. So, una muna, R, R hat times yung nakuha natin coefficient dito. Ayan. Plus theta, one third, kung ano man yung nakikita natin dito. Minus one third, minus, ne minus one third dahil negative to, right? times 2 sine phi minus cosine phi. So, kinopia ko lang din pala ito lahat. So, that's how we are going to uh, solve yung transformation from uh, two points in the Cartesian coordinate system papunta sa direction na isang vector in the spherical coordinate system. I hope meron kayo natutunan dyan, no? So, moving forward, we have Another set of transformation for for spherical. Ito naman yung from spherical to cylindrical and from cylindrical to spherical. Maraming mga problems na kung saan uh, mas madaling gumamit ng spherical and cylindrical over the Cartesian place. Kaya naman pinag-aaralan natin dito yung dalawa na yan. Okay? So again... Let me start on the general equation ng spherical coordinates. Then, kapag kailangan, pag pinapahanap yung capital R, it is equal to the square root ng R squared plus Z squared. Okay. So, remember na yung R squared or yung R sa cylindrical. Cylindrical is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Pwede mo rin naman gamitin din ito dito para magiging tatlo sila. So, therefore, r would be the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Okay? So, dito, dahil given ang r and z ng cylindrical, Yan yung gagamitin natin, di ba? Sa theta naman, we now have theta equal to arctan of r over z. So, yung r natin, square root of x squared plus y squared, all over z pa rin yan. Uh, let's take a note that yung ating theta is an angle from 0 to 180, nothing more, nothing less. So, hanggang dyan lang yung kanyang theta. Okay? So, next, we have yung ating phi. Yung phi ng cylindrical is equal sa phi ng uh, LMS. Okay? 
So yung, ah, sorry. Yung fee ng cylindrical, cylindrical, cylindrical. Equal daw yan sa fee ng spherical. Of course, uh, common sense yan, ano? Dahil pares naman yung symbol, equal lang yan. Though we have to take note na yung fee natin is uh, from 0 to 2 pi. Okay? Kung baliktad naman, we are going from spherical to uh, cylindrical, we will follow these relationships na ating mga uh, ating mga variables. Okay? So, small letter R, ito yung R sa cylindrical, is equal to R sine theta. Okay? R sine theta. Yan yung ating phi sa cylindrical. Equal yan sa phi ng spherical. Okay? Yan yung ating z as usual. It is equal to r cosine ng theta. Okay. And ano pa? Paano naman kung spherical to cylindrical coordinate systems, paano na tayo mag-transform ng mga vectors? So, ang formula na gagamitin natin, actually, almost the same kanina. Okay? Almost the same. Pero, may konting mga modifications. So, para makuha natin yung yung mga scalar components ng cylindrical, this is cylindrical, no? Cylindrical, gagamitin na natin yung kaninang relationship ng sine theta cosine phi, cosine theta cosine phi minus sine phi, and so on, times yung ating mga scalar components sa spherical. Okay? So, yan yung ating formula. Kapag ka naman kailangan mo na inverse or from cylindrical papunta ng spherical, ganoon lang din ulit, babalik ta rin lang natin yung uh, babalik ta rin lang natin yung ating formula. So, kung kailangan pala natin yung ating yeah, yung ating A sub R sa cylindrical, ang gagawin lang natin is si set natin yung mga phi yung mga value ng sine and cosine ng phi no pag cosine phi magiging 1 yan pag sine phi magiging 0 okay so tulad nito magiging 1 yung cosine phi ito ren 1 din yata to and then itong negative sine phi magiging 0 yan right then sine phi magiging 0 din yan sine phi 0 cosine phi is 1 Sa baba, meron po ba? Meron. Yan. So, yung ating transformation matrix uh, from spherical coordinate system papunta sa uh, cylindrical coordinate system. I think gagamitin natin. Okay? And kung gusto naman natin na inverse, babalik ta rin lang natin yung ating formula accordingly. Uh, kung yan yung ating formula para makuha natin yung a sub r na malaki a sub theta then a sub phi equal yan saan so babalik ta rin lang natin ito no kanina pupunta yan doon dito naman pupalik. so sine theta cosine theta 0 sa kabila naman 0 0 1 then sa third column, we have cosine theta, negative sine theta, and then zero. Yan. Multiply lang natin yan sa a sub r na maliit, a sub phi, and a sub z. Yan. Okay? So, meron pa lang formula, sorry. So, na yung ating formula for pabalik no so ito magiging vertical okay 
So let's try to solve an example on the spherical coordinate system. So given two points, given two points, point 1, 2, 2, negative 5, and yung isang points, isang point is in cylindrical coordinates, that is point 2, 3, pi, negative 2. We are to find the spherical coordinates of P sub 1, the spherical coordinates of P sub 2, the magnitude and the vector connect, connecting P1 to P2. Yan yung tatlong hahanapin natin. So first, we are focusing on the spherical coordinates of P1. So ito medyo madali ito kasi from Cartesian, Cartesian to spherical. Alright? Medyo may formula naman na tayo dyan. Susundan lang natin. So yan. Sabi natin, we have the capital letter R equal to dun sa parang distance formula na x, y, and z. So, substitute lang natin yung mga value dyan mamaya. For theta naman, galing dun sa ating mga formula, theta is equal to x squared plus y squared, and then kukunin yung square root nila. Substitute lang natin ulit yung mga values na x, y, and z dyan mamaya para makuha yung theta. The next, we now have yung value ng phi. No? Ano ba yung value ng phi? Phi is equal to arctan y over x. Then take note lang ng angle natin is greater than 0 but uh, also, but is also less than or equal to 2 pi. So dito muna tayo sa first ha. Balikan natin itong R. So, formula, substitute lang natin itong point 1 dahil yun yung pinapahanap, di ba? So, 2 squared, 2 squared by negative 5 squared. Ito yung tura niya. Okay. Then, simplify pa natin. Ito kasi magiging 4 plus 4 plus 25. So, that's 32. Right? So, therefore, yung ating um, R, small letter R, is equal to the square root of 32, and it is equal to 5.745. Okay? Next, we now have uh, the angle, theta. It is equal, the, it is equal to negative, uh, the arctan of the square root of x squared plus y squared all over z. Theta taken from 0 to pi. So, substitute lang natin ulit yung mga numbers. So, yun yung nakuha natin. Diba? 2, 2, and negative 5. Pero medyo dahil duwag sila. Yung ating uh, ating theta is negative 29 and 30. Okay. So, negative 29 degrees and 30. So, since yung angle down natin should be from 0 to pi, so, cool, hindi ito pasok, kaya dadagdagan natin siya ng 180. Para yung ating theta is now uh, the, uh, is now satisfying yung ating note na dapat yung theta is greater than 0 but less than or equal to pi. Kaya ang nakuha natin is 150 degrees and 30. Okay. So next, sa phi naman, it is equal daw sa arctan ng y over x. So meron naman tayong y over x ng 2 and 2. Therefore, uh, yung theta natin is equal to arctan 2 over 2, equal yan sa 45 degrees. Okay? So, ano na yung final answer natin dito sa A? It is the point 1 with coordinates 5.745, 150 degrees and 30, and then 45 degrees. So, that's for the first question. Next naman is, we are to find the spherical coordinates of point 2. 
point two. Point two. Three pi negative two. So we need to do this. Three Then, yung para sa phi naman, phi is always equal to phi. So, anay na natin yung r. So, sa r, substitute lang natin yung mga numbers na nakikita natin dyan. So, r is 3. Then, z is negative 2. Therefore, yung ating r is now equal to the square root of uh, 18. Square root of 13, so 3.36 yung kanyang square root. Pagdating naman sa theta, it is equal to r tan, substitute yung value ng r, so that's 3. Then all over negative 2, ang makukuha natin dyan is negative 56 degrees and 15. Now, negative, 50, negative 56 degrees and 18. So, dahil hindi ulit ito pasok doon sa ating uh, angle allowable from 0 to 5. So, mag tayo ng 180 dito. Therefore, yung ating angle will be 122 degrees and 42. Sa phi naman, dahil uh, ang phi naman natin ay equal din sa phi ng cylindrical. So, copy-paste lang yan. Yung ating phi... sa cylindrical ay equal din yan sa phi. Therefore, yung ating phi is equal to pi or yung ating phi is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So, we now have yung ating mga coordinates, 3.6, 123, and then we have 180 degrees. Therefore, yung ating point 2 is now equal to 3.6, 123 degrees and 42, and then 180 degrees. Okay? Third, we are to find naman yung magnitude ng vector connecting point 1 to point 2. So, para makuha natin yung magnitude ng vector that is connecting point 1 to point 2, kailangan muna natin kunin yung vector, di ba? So, yung fundamental step Para masagotan natin yung magnitude na yun. Kunin muna natin yung vector. So, paano yun? So, yun lang natin ulit. No? Balikan natin. Na yung pinag-aralan natin, natin sa cylindrical, uh, gagamitin natin dito kasi kahit pa mas madaling kumuha ng magnitude kapag nasa Cartesian, right? at mas madaling mag-transform from cylindrical to Cartesian, kaysa naman gamitin natin yung dalawang yung dalawa nating sagot sa point 1 and point 2 which are nasa spherical coordinate system. So, ang approach na gagawin natin is, is that yung ating cylindrical component or cylindrical system ibabalik natin yung sa Cartesian coordinate system. So, magagamit natin itong tatlo na to para ma-transform yung, yung problem into Cartesian. Okay? So, paano na yan? So, we now have x is equal to r cosine phi, y is equal to r sine phi, and z is equal to z. So, straightforward na tayo yung sa x, it is equal to 3 cosine ng phi. Okay? 3 cosine 3 cosine ng phi, yung phi natin is 5. Therefore, yung ating x is negative 3 dahil yung cosine na cosine na 180 degrees is equal to negative 1. So, x is equal to negative 3. Tama. Next, we have the y. y is equal to, sabi sa formula, y is equal to r sine phi. So, substituting the values ng 3 at saka pi, yung ating y now becomes uh, 
3 times sine of 180 which is 0. So therefore, yung ating y is equal to 0. Okay. Then yung z naman, the z naman, yeah. substitute lang natin ulit din yung values natin. We have, so yun, z, no? 0.2 and it is equal to negative 2. Dahil yung form, form ng cylindrical is yung small letter r, phi, and then yung theta. Okay? Yan. So, yung p daw natin, yung ating p sub 2 is equal to negative 3, 0, and negative 2 base dun sa mga nakuha natin. No? And i-project natin yung p1. p1 is always 2 2 and negative 1. So, ayan. Ready na tayo to get the vector ng points na yan. Diba? So, yung vector ng points na yan would be in general equation equal to um, x hat a sub x plus y hat a sub y plus z hat a sub z. So, since we have already two points that determine yung line natin, pwede na natin gamitin yan to get yung ating magnitude. Right? Or to get yung ating uh, mga scalar components. So, yung formula natin is yung difference ng kanilang values or magnitude times yung ating unit vector. Okay? Difference na kanilang sum, uh, difference na kanilang values multiplied by the x hat. Ganun din sa y and sa z. So, substitute natin yung mga values na i-substitute natin para magkaalaman na kung ano yung ating vector. So, sa x, we have negative 3 minus 2. So, that's x negative 5, no? Minus, dahil negative 2, y hat 2, plus z hat Dahil negative 2 ka, hindi minus minus, so plus na yan, so 3. Therefore, yung ating A is equal to negative 5, negative x hat 5 minus y hat 2 plus z hat 6. Natin ang tama. Okay. So, yeah, si Z hat 3 pala ito. 3. Sorry. So, that's Z hat 3. Next, brain na lang muna. Yan. So, susunod natin is, we are now ready to find the magnitude ng vector. Dahil yung magnitude ng vector is given by this formula. And that is sa square root ng sum ng mga values dito sa scalar components ng z. Yan yung ating magnitude. Okay? So, sagot na natin yan. The magnitude ng vector A is equal to the square root of 38. And, pag ginamit natin yung calcule, it is equal to 6.164 okay? units Ayan, uh, natapos na tayo dun sa ating uh, space coordinate systems. In particular, in spherical coordinate system, we illustrated kung yung mga formulas to be able to transform spherical coordinate systems to Cartesian coordinate system or vice versa. And we are we were able to solve sample problems that represent the mga problems as spherical coordinate systems. And we also touched on transforming spherical coordinate systems to cylindrical coordinate systems. So, ayan. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig at sana meron kayo natutunan. 
kung meron kayong mga questions, uh, PM nyo lang ako. At uh, see you sa susunod na uh, topics, topic natin sa vector analysis. Maraming salamat.